Five may have said there's there's levels to this business and it doesn't get any higher in level. The John Mott Emmett there. Channel 7 Boxing Champion 2008. Channel 7 Toy Boxing Champion 2014. Current M1 Champion and WBC ranked number one. This is one of the best fighters ever to set foot in Ireland and there's been some absolute brilliant fighters. That is some resume. You know, uh, the car crowd really educated in, in Thai boxing as well. Over the years, we've had Sanchez here twice. Some epic fights between uh, Cedric Muller, Jordan Watson was really the first mega fight that Martin Horgan brought us. Sorry, I'm Warriors Super Fights. Um, I think we've Rung Ravi fought here twice. Rung Ravi, we've had Pornson eh? Rung Ravi, Pornson and fought each other twice. Yeah. I remember, sorry, yeah. like, yeah. you know? Two of the best fights I've ever witnessed, live. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, you know. This is special when you have John Emmett there, like this is a really, really dangerous boxer, a really, really dangerous fighter, and it's been witnessed by none other than Boko Benjamin, which is just yeah. he's unbelievable. A, he's got a smile on his face there. He's into this, he's he into this. The car crowd. She and obviously the home fighter got a massive reaction, came into the ring to Queen We Will Rock You. Huge ovation from his home support. It's amazing watching Joe Mudd's runway. You know, the gamblers in the stadiums, like they'll be watching this and they'll be, they'll be putting their bets down based on this alone. Yeah, Look at the balance, thing. the beauty of it. She and not phased in the corner, not his first barbecue. He's been here before. Won his WBC title against the Thai uh, two years ago up in Dublin in Capital One event. Seamus, just for our fans at home to let them know, this isn't for one world title, it's for two. It's the World ISK and WBC Muay Thai title at 55 kgs. It's very rare to see unified titles in Thai boxing, you know, so this is really, really impressive. Awesome. Huge promotion, huge show to be at, great atmosphere. Sheehan is an ISK Irish champion himself. He's an Irish ISK European champion. A WKA world title, ranked by number 10 by the WBC, and he is the WBC international champion, so not a bad resume himself. Well, he's just broken one of John Matt Emmerdale's arrows, so. Real great entertainment. It's game. on, it's on tonight. Martin Hardy, here we go again. This is electric. 
looking around the crowd here, the smiles, beaming smiles, and a massive show of respect from Jamra. Is this one going ahead? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Big mark of respect, huge appreciation from the car crowd. So Seamus, this is going to be a phenomenal fight. Our three referees, or sorry, our three judges are Mr. Daz Morris, Walter Scott, and Derek Flynn. And when the action gets underway, our man in the middle is Mr. Jesse Saunders. Ladies and gentlemen, at home, the atmosphere here is electric. The hairs on my arms are standing up. This is yeah, brilliant. Yeah, Seamus, uh, sometimes you have to pinch yourself when you see the caliber of fighters we have here in front of us at Cork. We're so, so lucky. Jama, as you would expect, super cool, chill, relaxed, and calm. And then he does that. Then he does that, exactly. Sancho kick out of the blocks, first thing you do. Joe Medema there is one of the most dangerous ties I've seen around because he can back up and he can knock you out with that left hand backing up. He can knock you out with that left hand going forward. So you need to just be completely dialed in when you're fighting a guy like this. Yeah. Any moment, any time. Sheehan had a fantastic fight there a couple of years ago against Timpan at Sitmanchai, Mr. Knock. It was absolutely one of my definitely top five fights I've ever seen live. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing about Ryan, he fights up to the level of his opponent. So he's got a guy like this in front of him. He's going to up his game, and he's going to need to. Definitely. Jamal putting on a show here for the Cork fans. Really, really strong inside leg kick. Sheehan unfazed. Jamal is oozing confidence. You wouldn't expect anything less, Seamus, after the amount of fights this man has had. He reckons he has f over 500 fights with 350 wins. It just sets the mind boggling. Yeah, look for a short left elbow there as Sheen came into the clinch. That's just amazing for anyone to think of that many fights. And chances are you could add another 50 to that. Yeah. Sheen, the bigger of the two men. Experience obviously goes to Jamal, but really interesting fight here. I think Sheen started really well. He's not giving the man any respect. He's looking to take him off his game, you know? Yeah, and he has to, because if you stand back and let Jamal kick off... Absolutely. There's it's only going to be one winner. Sheen might look to, you know, push the pace. Nice trip and sweep. Jamal showing his wily ways in the clinch. Really, really clever. And that's the danger of pressuring a guy like John Matt. That left elbow just off the ropes, you know. And again, that left hand. He's looked for the straight left and right hook over the top. Former boxing, professional boxing champion, and toy boxing champion. This is one dangerous fighter. If there was a man born to fight, it was him. Big shout out to Oshin and Killian Sheehan at home. We're watching this. <laughs> Get the uh, bed, lads. They should be in bed, but you know they're allowed to stay up for this in the presence of greatness. And big shout out to their mom, Pamela Sheehan, too. Round one over. Nice feeling out process, and we got to see uh, Jamal. <laughs> Round number two just kicking off. We've got that great Neptune atmosphere here for this it one. It is, it is, and you wouldn't expect anything else. Both guys tossing position in the clinch. She maybe seems to look at the off the pace there. Good body shot. I think the pleasantries are over with. Pleasantries are over. Dumped there by John Hyde. Sheen's okay. You have to think the quicker pace will suit Sheen, especially if you can get to the if you can get to the later rounds. That's the danger with toys though, they can make you fight at their pace. They have that skill level. That's 
Yeah, Joma's getting low on the clinching. It's 2.44 in the morning in Thailand. We'd just like to say a big welcome to all our Thai fans that are watching here at the pay-per-view. Seamus knows there's a couple of Thai flags in the crowd as well, so there is a Thai contingent here to supporting the Thai fighters. Nice, big knee through the middle by Jamhad. Sheen putting him under pressure, answering back with a knee of his own. Jamad right in front of us here, Seamus. Keep the scoreboard ticking over. Long, straight knees. Yeah, just so clever to get low in the clinch and just find that home for those straight knees. Though. Like, that's a big, big score on Thai boxing, that straight knee down the pipe. For people just tuning in, this is the equivalent of if you're a tennis fan watching, watching Rafa Nadal come to your town, you know what I mean? Or, it's just amazing. This level of caliber of fighter coming here and fighting a homegrown talent is something really, really special. It's a massive step up for Ryan. He's been here before at this level, like, but just when you, you see a home like just in, in with a guy at that level, it's incredible, you know? And he's giving it a go, he's there to win, like. Oh, he's there, and it, you know, Sheen is extremely tough and durable. Jamal just stopping the clinch inside, very intelligent. See, he's looking for that counter left hand, Seamus, as Sheehan's marching forward. And he's looking to take that inside leg. Sheehan is making a work. You can notice Jamal's left hand is on the hip. So he's looking to turn him, use the momentum in. Ty's clapping in the corner, noticing a good scoring. Sheehan did well to stay up there, but. Jamad seems to be... As we're talking about elite team. level, Ty's win. Like, Jamad found a home for that lead knee, and now he's just picking up the scores of it. Yeah, she stayed on his feet in a triple end of round two. Round number three. Here we go. Referee Jesse Saunders gets the action on the way of round number three. Seamus has been an amazing card so far, and this, this, this boat alone is offering us some incredible action already. And it's only going to get better because Ryan's going to keep bringing that heat, he's going to keep bringing that smoke. And look, you can see the level of the guy he's in against, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the show is labelled in the presence of greatness because Boko is here joining us, and fans are swarming him. But also in the crowd, we have a Sheen stablemate. Um, and the only Irish fighter, Sean Clancy, in the one championship is in the crowd as well. Sheehan had a big shot earlier, but still drives forward. And they're sharp, sharp shots from Jomad. Yeah, seasoned vet, ah. smiling now. Caught Sheehan coming in there with an overhand left. Sheen on phase though. It's what remember John is a former Channel 7 champion. The Channel 7 champions are known for the absolute all non-stop action they can provide. And you can see that in John Matt. He's looking, he wants a bit of a tear up. He does, he relishes it, you can see it in his eyes. Sheen did well to stay on his feet there from that trip. Yeah. John had no mouthpiece in Seamus, which is uh, in Thai boxing, you don't have to wear after a row number one. If if he's got teeth like that after 500 fights, he probably doesn't need a mope Oh, caught Sheen coming in there. Fantastic. Really good, he's, he's putting on a clinic here, but Sheen dogged as ever is in there, and he's making him work every step of the way. And that's it, Sheen is forcing the pace, he's forcing his way into this fight. He has to do it, it's the yeah. only way you, there's no way you can stand, nice chopping out over the top, you can't stand in front of Jamad and go shot for shot. He has his attention, he has his respect, this is brilliant. Went for a looping uppercut there. Maybe just to get Jamal's attention, looking for the left hook in third. Sheen takes the body kick, shakes it off, comes oh, back. Well done, good score from Sheen there. Jamal holding the ropes to keep him up. That's that dangerous left hand. He just, just fell short in at that time, but it's so dangerous. You know he's up there. Uh, his timing is incredible and also, 
as you mentioned, after those 500 fights, his distance is yeah. just slipping those shots by millimetres. It just makes it so hard to pressure him that he's timing that left hand on you. Yeah. Making Sheehan miss there. She needs to find his range a bit more. John Wood went for the sweep, and Sheehan managed to stay on his feet. Jamad walks away with a smile on his face as Sheen slightly out of range. Good inside leg kick. Jamad really enjoying himself here. Yeah, trying to win the crowd over. I appreciate the car crowd. They respect him. They really know what he's got to, what he's bringing. Round number four, Seamus. Listen to this crowd. They are on their feet. They know it's the money round. Very educated crowd. Folks, just to mention, in the break, Boko made his way to the corner of Jamhad and was barking instructions, very aggressively giving out to him. So. Yeah, he was so animated, like he was pressing the action with Jamhad. Thai boxing has that effect, you know, you just can't stay in your seat. Uh, slight slip, wet corner there. Just needs to be dried, just a bit of housekeeping done here. We're in the fourth round, these are the money shot, and there's that left hand. Sheehan took it and came right back, but that's a dangerous shot. Uh, Fantastic oh. combination by Sheehan. Really, really good work by Ryan here. Looking for that elbow. Jamad knows he's in the fight now. So this, this is what Ryan Sheehan needs. He needs this pace, and he needs to try and push, push Jamad back, make him think. Jamad looking for that sweep. Ryan's work rate in two, three, and four has been incredible. Yeah, both men fixing their groin shields. She ain't looking for that big left hook. That's the one that won him the WBC title. <laughs> Jamad smiling at him, animated, letting him know, okay. And this is a man who's not wearing a gum shield. Yeah, she went for his own sweep there in the corner. This is where she can have his most success, is in a brawl. Great work by both fighters. Great strength from Jamma to stay up. Jamma's holding that right hand so low. It's he there is. for Ryan if he wants to throw that hook. Ac accidental touch there. A referee Jesse Saunders is looking for gum shield. Jamma says, I don't want one. Seamus totally accidental. I reckon it might be a, you know, a foot went astray there looking for a high knee to the head, but we're back in action here straight away. Sheehan did well, that's a big score for him. Big score, gets the crowd in his feet. John Mads up. Sheehan definitely has got his respect in this one. Without a doubt, and that's what we were hoping, that he could stay in there for the deep water, make John Mads think, drag him into a, into a fight. The Siam corner, Martin Horgan is screaming for that left hook, yeah, yeah, and it's good. there. He saw the damage, there was a big spray. Again, if Jamad wasn't holding onto the ropes there, he may have went down. There was a big spray of sweat that landed on us there early, Seamus, from that hook from Sheen. And as you mentioned, the corner looking for it. Also, Aaron O'Callaghan very animated in the corner along with Michael O'Mani. Boko is on his feet. He is. And why wouldn't you be? She and Doggett is ever making John Hunt work. Sheen's corner really trying to get to push the, pay, push the pace. They don't want him to play here. You cannot play with John Hunt. That's a big score in the fourth. It is, and he went to take him off his feet there. Ryan is pressing the pace. He is the power of that leg kick there. John Hunt. John Hunt looking to play, play, but Sheen doesn't want any of it. He wants to drag it into a dogfight. Really great round number four there. All to play for going into five. Fifth and final round. Seamus, again, Boko over in the corner, barking instructions to Jamhad. In the other corner, you Martin Horgan. We've been on the stool when he's motivating you. And let's be honest, that man will get you out of the grave. Super motivator. Absolutely, and it's worked. His charge is out. Ryan is out looking to make the fight and to win this fight. 
A couple of big scores here either way could sway it. This is WBC, so at the end of each round, scorecards are collected by our referee, Mr. Jesse Saunders, a Botswara WBC official, that's Mr. Nash, who's sitting just to the left of us here. Jamad may be looking for a slight breather here. Sheehan not giving him an inch, putting him under pressure. Jamal being backed into the corner, but showing all his skill. So it's many Lee Toys will actually keep score the fight during the fight. So Jamal is probably scoring this fight in his own head. He might have himself ahead. Sheehan came crashing towards us there, but showed great strength and agility to stay up. Ryan, that hook over the top. He's had some success with it. Jamal super calm in the clinch. So, so clever in the clinch. He needs to be busy. He knows the clock may, might be on his side, but he's making Jamad work for everything. Jesse Saunders warning these guys who holding the ropes. Jamad smiling and laughing. Maybe trying to get a breather, but Sheen is pushing the pace here. But There's a lot of respect though, Wayne. He's really, really, Ryan has really gotten his respect tonight, you know? Which is absolutely fantastic. Jamad. You know, after so many fights, playing the game, smiling, getting the crowd on his side, taking a breather, and just scoring. A big score there, getting Ryan off balance. Sheen coming back with That's punches of his own. The quality of that left kick is incredible. It's, it's just impeccable, really, Seamus. It's flawless. Good body kick from Ryan Sheen. He catch a leg if he can dump him. Great score! Crowd really on their feet now. Ryan Sheen brought the crowd to their feet with that one. Ties animated in the corner. We're Maybe. looking at a great finish to this fight. He could have. Sheen has an unbelievable gas tank, so he could go another five rounds. He needs to push the pace here. Crowd really getting behind this one, Seamus. And Ryan gets that right hand home again. Joe Mad knows he's got to chase this fight. There's some dirty boxing on the she in there just to shake him up. That's it. She again goes to boxing. What a fight. fight. What an absolutely outstanding fight. She is corner. Think they've won it. Jamal think they've won it. What do you think of home? All down to the judges. What a night to be a judge.